Hello everybody, happy Sunday. But this will be Monday when you see it. It's gonna get weird being a day ahead of you. Um, so last night, after I ended everything, we lost power. So I did take a tiny clip of that. We lost power for a little over four hours. Um, luckily, I don't think we really lost anything. We checked out the fridge. We're kind of being careful with the stuff in the fridge, but the freezer stuff should be fine. And here's a little clip of last night and all the craziness. So they're hiding. <laughs> well, I was trying to hide, but... We lost our power. So the other kids... I did not cause this. The other kids are out walking. The transformer for our street went kaboom. Because yes. I heard it go kaboom. So we don't know what neighbors are doing, but... We thought somebody had done a firework, but it's not. So, the boys... You can what do you think see they said? me. I'm very dark. <laughs> There. That's better. We're back. <laughs> Luke is handling it like a champ so far. Um, but if you yeah. we take you out of this room, we just have a magical light right there. If we were to leave this room, it's dark everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> it's dark. Well, it Ash said, could quarantine get any better? <laughs> I like, I'm sorry, honey. We can't control it, so we're going to play some Farkle. Mommy, I've never seen that. That's a big head, man. I can't see you. It's too dark. So Hattie and Luke are playing a game on the phone. Here, does this help? Oh, heavens, yes. That is very bright. we should try again. Are you having fun with Daddy? You're being a good trooper. There's a giant floating head. We can Two get out your books. Heads. We can get your books out soon too. Oh my. So today, Charles is gonna show you what he did get finished in the yard wise yesterday. And then we're just gonna we're gonna cook dinner together and just kind of spend the day together. I need to go do some editing this morning and then I'll be back and we will all be cleaned up and ready for the day. Theo's grandmother just dropped off a uh, toy for him for his birthday. She left it on the front porch, so we sprayed it down, brought it in, and he just opened that gift. That's what all that noise is, and Kate's about to make a smoothie for the kids. So, there you go. That's where we are right now. We'll see you in just a bit. Okay, you guys said you wanted to see what we get from the store. That That's something you wanted to see. And just know, guys, this is a time of not judgment. We did get some, you know, uh, easy food for the kids. <laughs> And that's okay, granola bars and such, because that's something they're wanting to grab, and I'm good with that. So, we got something today from Aldi and from Walmart. So we're gonna go on and show you Aldi first, because that just came. But we're also gonna show you, I'm out of breath because I'm gonna run out of the uh, the precautions that we are taking and that we have put in place, because like, these people that came from Instacart, they didn't have gloves or anything on. I will say Walmart, every time that they come to our house, they have gloves on. So, I'm going to show you the precautions we're taking. Some of you might think we're over the top. Some of you might think, ah, you should do something else. That's okay. Everybody's got to do it their own way, but I'm just going to show you what we're doing. So, here is how we are taking precautions when getting our groceries. Okay, so the first thing we're doing is we're wearing gloves. So you see he's got blue gloves. We just have this one pair. We wash them. We just reuse them. Well, it's I the actually, only player, pair. No, actually I have more. Oh, uh, we do have more? But waste not, want not. Yes. And we did not buy these because of the, the virus. We actually have had these yeah. They're my mechanics in our house. gloves. Nitrile. Yes. yes. So the first thing that we're going to do is then we bring everything through the garage. Like I said, with gloves, I was able to get potatoes. I can't wait to show you guys. They definitely had stuff at Aldi. Well, I will say the first thing I look at when we got a delivery like this is, is do the people bringing it wear gloves? And this time they did not. But yes, I got this cleaned up a lot more out here. He did a very good job. He straightened this up. But then we're gonna take it in and we will watch, wipe each thing off individually. But I've been editing for you guys all morning. I'm behind on dishes. 
So I'm gonna do the dishes. The kids have been upstairs cleaning. I'm gonna do dishes real quick because we are also rinsing any fruit or anything like that. He's just getting it off the stairs. Okay, I will say that this came very fast. So what he's doing next is a Clorox wipe and wiping everything down. And then I guess he's gonna go sit on the other table. And I will show you guys all of that here in just a minute. But like I said, I will tell you, this came via Instacart and it came very fast. So I will tell you what I do and don't like about ordering the delivery as soon as I'm done showing you everything. Okay, so this is what we got. Now keep in mind, like I said, snacky stuff for the kids. They are stuck in the house, you guys. And so yes, we are getting them some, some more junk food than normal. We even got some pop down there. But you know, we're making the best of it. So I got chewy dipped, a chocolate chip, and a peanut butter, a cashew sweetened salty, a peanut, an almond, and a peanut dark chocolate and almond mix. The Nutri-Grain bars back here, which is the Aldi brand, you guys, these are so good. They had, they did not have all the flavors online to order. They have way more flavors than that, but we were able to get a raspberry, a cherry, and a strawberry. And Theo is gobbling those up. He's eating two at a time. So I just want to make sure I had that for him. And then we got some peanut butter and chocolate chip granola bars. Then I did get five cans of biscuits. As I'm putting stuff in, I didn't know exactly what I would really be able to get. Um, and a few things as soon as I checked out, it said up out of stock. So... I wasn't even sure that I would get that, but I wanted to have those biscuits on hand because they're just so handy, especially if like Jake wants to make biscuits and gravy. He loves to make that. He can use those. Two cans of cinnamon rolls. Luke loves those. The cinnamon roll danishes. Luke loves those. French toast sticks. Luke loves those. And the waffles. Luke loves those. The kids love the homemade waffles. Luke likes the um, waffles like that. Then two packs of pepperoni. Luke loves pepperoni, and we have actually had a really hard time finding that anywhere. And so I was very happy to see that. We actually ordered one pack, but they put two in. I mean, we paid for two, but that was, I think, the people checking out made a little mistake there, but that's all right. And then flour tortillas. We just got one. I wasn't sure even how many we were going to be able to get, so it was very nice to know that we're able to get that again. Two... Uh, syrups, which is wonderful because you'll see in our Walmart order, I ordered the uh, real maple syrup because they were out of this type. And it was good to know that Aldi now has this. Then wild blueberry muffins. The kids love those. And then I top it with some fresh or frozen blueberries and a topping and the kids just love it. Some green onions. I am doing uh, ordering now our fruits and vegetables from a weekly and a bi-weekly delivery place. One is called Misfits. The other one is called The Fruit Guys. I am not affiliated in any form or fashion with them. They're just what we are using as a produce delivery. So that's why I did not need much in the produce. However, I did need potatoes and I was very happy to see that they had potatoes. Then balsamic vinaigrette. I don't remember putting that in there, but somehow I ended up with that and we'll use it. So it's okay. The pop, I did get that for the kids. It's cola. We call it pop out here. Um, they like to have that some at night and right now I'm letting them. I'm, I'm good with that. French vanilla creamer. That is actually for Brooke. She loves her creamer and her coffee. Strawberry jelly. They have their own version of everything but the bagel seasoning. I've only ever used Trader Joe's, so I'm excited to try theirs. Um, tartar sauce, which I did not order, so I'm not sure what that's about. <laughs> and creamy peanut butter. This, I wanted the bigger jar, but they only have the smaller ones. They did have flour, you guys, so I got two flours. So I was very excited to know that they had flour. I got a couple tortilla chips back here and a couple plain chips because they are doing some sandwiches and some everything but the bagel pretzels Theo and Charles like those to snack on and then some little melody potatoes and some garlic 
I'm gonna do some roasted garlic and make some homemade garlic bread, so that'll be delish. So, not bad. A couple things that are very weird, like the tartar sauce, no clue, or the balsamic vinaigrette. Yeah. <laughs> we'll so, use it, but... So, we were missing a tortilla chip that we paid for, but we picked up... We paid for the tartar sauce, but I don't know why we got it. Oh, well, it wasn't on my list. So, my list, they also give you the receipt on the bag. Yes. So, my list that um, is an email did not necessarily match the list on the bag. They also did charge... What was it? Seven cents a bag, a brown well, bag to seven bring cents it a brown to bag, us, which is fine. Which is still yes, fine. Um, and then you have to tip, and you have a delivery fee. Now their delivery fee was only three dollars and some change, and <coughs> we pick the tip then that you give. So, all in all. Not bad. Walmart does have, though, and I'll go into that here in a minute, but Walmart has where you can pay a monthly fee for like 12 something, and that covers you unlimited deliveries all month, which I think is the better deal. Yes, I just have it focused on you because I can't use this camera and look at me. <laughs> You'd be all right. Move your mouth like air the one top. I was going to say I'd lip sync it, but I don't know what you're going to say. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to say either. That's the way it goes. All right, so I will just talk to you guys <laughs> switch cameras. But this is what we got from Aldi. Yep, and just remember those potatoes and the garlic are what you need to wash. Oh, yes, and he just pointed out the potatoes and the garlic. Um, I, I am think putting probably these. fine with these because I washed the bag down really good, and those come pre-packaged and pre-sealed, and... I think but people if somebody could were still to cough or sneeze or whatever, with these. those are good. Yeah, but these where it's just open netting like that, that's what you'll... And the reason being out. that we are paranoid about that is because it's been all over the news about people purposely coughing on produce and, and things like that. So just to be careful. And even if somebody is not purposely doing it, maybe doesn't know, just we're washing everything in some vinegar solution. All right, now I will quit. Okay, so let's check on Charles and let him show what all he did. Told you guys we'd get that in here today, too. Uh, and you can see our neighbors are doing their kites, too. <laughs> start around the side. It's the perfect day for it today. Okay, you want to start over here? I think you saw in yesterday's video where I was digging the hole, wasn't I? The trench? Yes, you were digging it. So there it is. Now you can see. We're done. Can't even tell that it's there. Nope. All the downspouts are in. They're good to go. And it actually goes all the way yep. down. You can Run see right here. the end of the piping over here. And then you're going to dig the trench all the way down the yard, right? Yeah. So I wanted to make sure I had good water flow coming out of this. And of course, it was lightning last night when it was raining the hardest. So I wasn't going to come out at that yeah, point. Yeah, pretty bad. Um, but yeah, my plan is I'm going to put one of these water runoffs like right here and then put gravel in to keep it from washing the ground out to kind of disperse it. Um, but we can get a lot of water coming off the downspout, so I want to try to leave it somewhat open. And then that'll just run right between the tree line down toward the garden. But, and then that is That'll tied in. I still have some dirt. It was dark last night, so I couldn't see all the dirt. But that is tied into the line. And I got a little bit of probably raking here, but the other line ties in right here. And you can see where I dug the trench right through. It goes all the way up to the house. And I just hand dug it so the hole isn't huge. I tried to and preserve some of the sod. Grass seed over some of this yeah. too then. So, I mean, you never know that this is all here. Yeah, and it's mounted a little bit because it will settle around the, the pipe oh, yeah, that's in the totally. ground. Um, then down here. Got the old one filled back in. This is where I had the drain. And I used some of the dirt that was left over to go ahead and build up over where the water tended to settle right in here. Mm -hmm. um, but I did add gravel. I had a bag of gravel that I added around the pipe in this area just to give it some extra water soaking. It's one of the things we do the pool this year over here when we drain that pool or they're splashing in and out, all that water tended to just settle right here. Yes and this will give it some drainage if it needs it yeah because um, we'll definitely be doing that this summer and i just kind of raked it all out leveled it out a lot more under here and you can still see where i haven't covered yet so all this needs mulch 
but I will fluff up all the mulch under here. So there's probably about a, a, I don't know, probably a half cubic yard just piled under these shrubs that I had left over from a couple years ago. So I will take some of that and spread it all across this, including over here where I've got the gravel. So everything right through here is all just a gravel pit and it drains down into the four inch corrugated pipe that runs along this line. And I still have to clean up all the dirt back in here that I had piled up, but I watched it while it was raining last night and it was raining hard and the water was going somewhere. So I'm presuming it worked. But like I said, it was lightning, so I didn't come out. <laughs> Apparently Luke didn't like us, so he closed the door. He closed the door, and Tommy was with him. So I guess he's done with outside for right now. <laughs> yeah, I still don't think he slept enough last night. But no, well, he slept it, good, but he didn't sleep enough. It was so late by the time we went to bed yep. with this power outage. So, so I'll probably still order mulch come May. It really isn't expensive. I can get. We get it by the truckload. Yeah, I can get a truckload of it for about 140 bucks, give or take, delivered. And that's enough to do everything. And every year I shrink these mulch beds just a little bit more. So I really don't need nearly as much. And it does our front yard too. We do the front and the back. Yeah, it does truckload. everything. But then we so. also talked about a truckload of dirt if we need to. To yeah. just kind of make the flower beds and fill things in if we don't have enough. Did you see the end result of how much I had left? I put about two more wheelbarrow loads in back there. Oh, did you? No, yeah. I'll have to go down and look. Papa get you in a minute. So I added two, maybe three more wheelbarrow loads into this. And I'll take that underground fence line out. Uh, try to break this up a little bit more and break out the leaves and the apples that haven't totally like broken down yet and then start spreading this all the way out in through here and let it just kind of set until we're ready to till it in May. Perfect. It's just going straight from the tree up here. Uh oh. You went down? What are you going to do? All right, yeah, yeah, get him down. Go play. Hello. Done. Hello. Done. Mommy, shovel. Shovel. Oh, you need your shovel? All right. Don't want to wake up. I might be dreaming. I might be dreaming. You're stirring things up. My heart is beating. My heart is beating. I won't. Okay, so real quick, I'm gonna just tell you guys um, while we're, I'm figuring out dinner, I'm just gonna show you what we're having for dinner tonight because this video is gonna be long with the grocery hauls. Uh, Walmart should be here soon. Now, we were stocked up on stuff, so we won't do Wal or Walmart, Aldi, any of it again for a couple weeks. So I plan on doing that like every other week. And then I will share with you guys what I get from the Misfit Markets and the Fruit Guys, if you guys wanna see that. That comes weekly from Misfit Markets and every other week from the Fruit Guys. And that's our produce. So that's how we're working it for right now. And I wanted to tell you, so what? how do I feel about um, shopping Aldi online, shopping Walmart online? So Aldi, shopping that online when I got on Instacart, I was, I did really like it, but it makes you think everything is in stock. And then as soon as you click check out and you pay, it pops up immediately and says, sorry, this isn't available. We'll substitute it with this. Is this okay? And you can click yes or no. 
Um, so you think that it's going to have it, but maybe it doesn't. And that happened with just a couple things that I'd put in my cart. But I guess I, but then at the same time, I like that you can make your substitution choice right there and say yes or no. You want it, you don't want it. They do charge you for the bags to bring it to you. Um, which is fine. And I, I had some weirdness going with some substitutions and stuff. In fact, I hear a car that could even be our, our Walmart order coming. But all in all, I was happy with it. And I, I would definitely do it. You do have to pay for the order to be delivered. You have to tip your driver. And you definitely should tip your driver. Because they're out doing this for you while you get to stay home. Um, They have a lot more selection at Aldi. And I did not find that there were limits as much at Aldi. Um, Walmart pretty much has everything as a limit of two right now. Which for us, like, to get two loaves of bread, that's not going to last us very long at all. So, that makes it a little bit harder. But Walmart also, like I said earlier, it has where you can just get your um, stuff delivered for one fee a month. And then you don't have to... <laughs> something going on then you don't pay for it every time or you can choose to pay for it every time but if you pay for it every time it's like they have certain hours that were like eight dollars for delivery and certain hours that were like ten dollars for delivery or you can pay twelve dollars and some change to have unlimited delivery for the month so if you're going to do it more than once definitely doesn't make sense to not do the try it or monthly pay so there you have it. That's my opinion, personally. Um, so of the two, I think I prefer Aldi, and I think we're going to do more Aldi shopping versus Walmart shopping now. I think, what do you think? There's just stuff I like in Aldi. I think that we you're not like gonna get at Walmart, stuff, yeah. but like I said, when Walmart gets their bread back in stock and it's the Walmart brand, then You'll we have want to that, do that yeah. One. Yeah, we will still have to get Walmart bread. So I guess we'll still end up maybe doing a little bit of Walmart. We'll see what happens. But that's our opinion for right now. That's how we feel about it all. So I'm going to just show you guys, like I said, what I'm going to make for dinner. And I'm going to show you guys what I got at Walmart. And then we'll wrap this up. Now you will see more potatoes at Walmart, but that's because I didn't even plan on doing all day today. It just kind of happened. I was, oh my gosh, Walmart has potatoes. Let me get some because we, we had very few potatoes left and we're big potato eaters. Um, and then I saw Aldi and they said they had it. So that's why I went and got it. And I didn't know what I was going to really get, what they would really have by the time they delivered. So now I'm very comfortable just buying at Aldi. Okay. I've kind of gone on and on and on. So see you guys in a bit. Okay, so we just got our Walmart order. I have to tell you guys, I'll tell you real quick, because let's freak this out a little bit, so just everybody be cautious of this stuff, okay? Um, we put in our order, all's great. They come, they deliver, and that's fine. Partly our fault. The garage door was left open, and where we had brought in groceries before, the front door was, or the garage door to the house was still propped open because we um, just hadn't closed it yet. We crawled this garage door, but somehow it got back open. Anyway, so instead of coming to the door and knocking and letting us know he was here or anything, he just put the groceries in our house. <laughs> and then after he was done putting the groceries in our house, he came and rang our doorbell and said, I put the groceries over there, but you really should just go start getting your own groceries because I can't promise anything's not ruined because it just flops around in the car. You're just better off doing it yourself. And then he left. I had to spray our whole area down because he came into our house. I'm not to go spray stuff in the garage too because you don't know. I mean, I literally watched this guy get out of his car with no gloves on. Again, it's the first thing I watch. And I watched him rub his nose walking toward the garage. So I was like, okay, this is gonna be great. Um, but yeah, he said he was delivering hot food with DoorDash and they're running around and they can't guarantee the food isn't going to be ruined because it's rolling around in the back of the car. I was like, well, that's just lovely. Just know. Just know. Be aware. It more freaks me out that he came into my house. 
<laughs> Nobody goes into anybody's house unless you're invited. Yeah. I would never walk into somebody's house ever, even if it's just to put right. groceries inside of the door. Just reinforces why we never. wipe everything down when we get it regardless. But we're also paranoid and keep everything yes. out of our house. Everything. So just beware, watch, make sure your doors are closed and everything. Normally what I would do is just open the door to the front of the house and I don't even, I keep the glass between us and I say just leave it on the porch, it's fine for your safety and mine. And they say, oh great, 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 they love it. And then they leave. This was not that case. I'm very freaked out that somebody just walked into my house. I'm quite freaked out. All right, here's what we got from Walmart. So, like I said, I didn't know that I was going to order from Aldi, too, and they have potatoes, so I got two bags of potatoes. Um, remind you, we are a family of ten. Like, I have a dozen potatoes in right now cooking for dinner. We go through a lot of potatoes, so when we're able to get it, we do. They did have Red Delicious Apples back. That is Luke food. For sure had to get that. They had Sunbeam Bread. Luke will do Sunbeam Bread. He prefers Walmart brand, but he will eat that. Then we got some of these little gold potatoes, which are great for just putting in half, tossing with oil and some spices and throwing in the oven. Two 18 count of eggs. I ordered a big jug of maple syrup. They did not have it, so they substituted that for three smaller jars. Some half and half and milk. Now, let's check the eggs, because he was like, you had eggs and I can't even promise they're not all smashed. Well, that's good. And that's good. So we're good. Okay, that wraps up the grocery portion of this. We're going to get this all put away, the rest of it. Yes, you see, I did not buy a ton. Um, and like I said, that's going to become a bi-weekly thing. And we're really probably going to stick with um, Aldi. Now... Again, this was no fault of Walmart. That just happened to be where I ordered it from. It was the dude from DoorDash. It was not Walmart's people. It was not a Walmart employee. This was a DoorDash person. So, you know, that's that's who came into our house. <laughs> so just know when you use, use things, just to make sure you're cautious. And that's it. All right, I'll show you guys dinner in just a minute. Okay, so here is dinner tonight. Crescent rolls. Um, some fixings for the potatoes, corn, green beans, asparagus, barbecue ribs, and some chicken fingers for those that don't like barbecue ribs, and a vegan chicken patty over there for our vegetarian. Okay, so tonight's question of the night actually goes pretty good with the whole quarantine thing since we are over two weeks now. I don't even know anymore how long we've been in about two and a half weeks, I guess. What do you miss more than anything? Explain. Honestly, right now, as we're trying to do stuff, I miss the freedom to be able to go to uh, things like the park. I, I wish that we could go to the park because I'm, I'm loving everybody being home. But I definitely miss being able to go to the park and have that kind of just freedom. We love the parks. That's what I, I do. What do you miss more than anything? Driving. Driving? <laughs> Freck, what do you miss more than anything? Uh, I guess going able to go into prom. Going to that prom. Been cool, but I mean. Yeah, that is. That's a bummer. Maybe we'll have a video chat. For prom? Yeah. <laughs> we'll oh. pretend we're doing prom stuff. Yes, she was ready for prom. All right, what do you miss more than anything right now? Home Depot. Home Depot? <laughs> All right, well, there you have it. That's who's sitting at the table oh, right wait, now because no. I'm Can calling everybody. Okay, change it from prom fast to what? Fast food. Fast food? <laughs> we didn't even get fast food. Well, you would get it with granny. Yeah, I get it sometimes with granny. <laughs> All right.
All right, we will see all of you tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, everybody. Have a wonderful night and stay safe.